Is it the right time to make a decision on Apple stock? In this video, we will delve deeper into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, February 2, 2024. Now, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and activate notifications to stay updated on our latest analysis. Ensuring you don't miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Starting from February 1, 2024, our system has categorized Apple as a hold slash accumulate, assigning it a score of minus 0.37. Now, let's analyze the stock's performance during this period. Although the stock has experienced some natural fluctuations, it currently shows a loss of minus 0.54% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. This means that on average, it has been losing minus 0.27% per day since being listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock is currently following a horizontal trend, indicating potential future movements within this range. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 1.19% change in the next three months. The possible return can range from minus 0.95% to 8.56%. Looking at the 12-month trend, a 21.13% change is expected over the next year. This equates to a potential return between 14.95% and 32.16%. In terms of price, this translates to a range of $213.64 to $245.63 after 12 months. Our latest daily update for Apple reveals a weaker technical forecast as the stock has been downgraded to hold slash accumulate. On the last trading day, which was Friday, February 2, 2024, the Apple stock price experienced a decline of minus 0.541%, dropping from $186.86 to $185.85. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 4.5%, ranging from a low of $179.25 to a high of $187.32. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in 7 instances, resulting in a decrease of minus 2.98%. Although the last day saw an increase in trading volume by 48 million shares, the prices continue to decline. This could potentially be an early warning sign, indicating a slightly higher risk in the upcoming days. In total, approximately $18.69 billion worth of Apple shares were bought and sold, with a total of 101 million shares exchanged. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded price for Apple stock was $199.62, while the lowest price reached $143.90. Currently, the stock price is 6.9%, equivalent to $13.77, below the 52-week high and 18.58%, equivalent to $42.41, below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Today, I'm going to share with you some recent analyst ratings for Apple, the stock of Apple Inc. Let's start with the most recent update. On Friday, February 2, 2024, Goldman Sachs upgraded Apple and gave it an outperform grade. Moving on to Thursday, February 1, 2024, Piper Sandler also had something to say about Apple. They gave it an overweight grade but with a hold action. Now let's go back a couple of days. On Tuesday, January 30, 2024, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform grade, but they also had a hold action. Going even further back, on Thursday, January 18, 2024, Bank of America Securities upgraded Apple and gave it a buy grade. However, on the same day, Bank of America Securities also had a negative view on Apple, giving it a negative grade but with an upgrade action. Analysts have given Apple stock a general rating of strong buy. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book ratio both as strong buy. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts also rate the stock as strong buy. 
Here are the important signals to consider for Apple's stock. Firstly, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, indicates a buy signal. However, there are also some negative signals that may impact the stock's short-term progress. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a sell signal, indicating a more negative outlook for the stock. Additionally, the long-term average is currently above the short-term average, confirming a general sell signal. When the stock experiences upward corrections, it may encounter resistance at the levels of $189.07 and $190.19. If the stock manages to break through these levels, it will trigger a buy signal. On Tuesday, January 23, 2024, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 4.78%. It is expected to continue declining until a new bottom pivot is identified. Yesterday, volume increased while prices fell. This could be an early warning sign, suggesting the need for closer monitoring of the stock. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a sell signal from 9 days ago. Bollinger signals a buy from 20 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal from 7 days ago. The long-term moving average also shows a sell signal from 5 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 3 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we observe the following signals. The short moving average indicates a sell signal from 5 days ago. The long-term moving average also shows a sell signal from 14 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 49 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to explore more signals. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. Apple has found support from accumulated volume at $185.64. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as it is expected to trigger an upward reaction when tested. Apple is generally traded at a good volume, and its daily price changes are usually minor, indicating a relatively low risk. In fact, over the past day, the stock only fluctuated by $8.07 or 4.5% between its high and low points. Looking at the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.28%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for Apple, it's important to go over some key fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. Apple's P-E ratio is within the normal range, which is often observed in companies with a long history or consistent revenue streams. Moving on to other news, Apple's next earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled to be released on May 02, 2024. Today, let's dive into the potential day trading levels for Apple. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple stands at $188.63. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. However, for those who already hold the stock, this could be an interesting level to consider for swing trading. On the other hand, if Apple faces a decline, it encounters its first support level at $185.64. Should this support level hold, it could serve as a great entry point, leading to a potential rebound in the future. The consensus rating for Apple, based on multiple analyst sources, is strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 29, 2023, Condo Christ sold 5,513 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. bought 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 17, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 10, 2023, Condo Christ sold 4,806 shares of common stock.
Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is calculated to be negative at minus 21.122. Overall, insiders have purchased 2,434,113 shares and sold 4,040,792 shares in the last 100 trades. We recommend setting the stop loss at $178.14, which represents a decrease of 4.15%. This particular stock exhibits low daily movements, resulting in lower risk for investors. Additionally, our analysis indicates a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred 8 days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Although Apple holds several negative signals, it should be considered as a hold candidate, given the chance for a potential turnaround. We recommend holding or accumulating this stock while awaiting further development. However, it's important to note that there are some small weaknesses in the technical picture, resulting in our analysis conclusion being downgraded from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate since the last evaluation. After analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our system suggests that the current price is overvalued. Looking ahead to Monday, February 5th, we anticipate Apple to open with a decrease of minus $1.71 and start trading at $184.14. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. To make informed decisions, always consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Drop a comment below and share your opinions. What's your target for this stock? And hey, if you enjoy our content, remember to like and subscribe. We're here at Stock Invest, wishing you successful trading and hoping you have a fantastic day.